The state attorney will not prosecute the group that painted this downtown Tampa back the blue mural without the city's permission. Made on side's Justin Shecker joins us live on Madison Street with more on the decisions from the prosecutor's office today. Justin, there were a few. There were a few. Josh, good evening to you. The individuals who painted over this show of support for police also won't face charges. The state attorney's office tells Aid on Your Side it's counterproductive to criminally prosecute individuals who are exercising their First Amendment rights. Shortly after the painting of this Back the Blue mural in downtown Tampa without the city's approval, individuals defaced it with black tar and red paint. A few days later, another group attempted to paint a Black Lives Matter mural in Curtis Hickson Park. For these three cases, the state attorney's office says the evidence available does not establish beyond a reasonable doubt the individuals responsible acted with willful or malicious intent to damage property as required under Florida law. It is energized me, re-energized me to continue to fight for those people so their charges can be dropped as well. It's the shove in the back during a confrontation between counter protesters that led Tampa police to arrest Jay Passmore on August 12th. Today, the state attorney's office announced it's exercising discretion and will not prosecute her for charges of battery or resisting arrest. Passmore tells Aid on Your Side she learned the decision from her attorney this afternoon. Uh, she was already pursuing to have the, the charges dismissed, so it was a, a surprise to see that, you know, the state attorney's office uh, did the reasonable and correct thing in dropping my charges. Now, prosecutors have filed more than 260 charges against 120 people for crimes of looting, burglary, theft, and attacking police. Now, most of these felony charges stem from that night of unrest back on May 30th. Reporting in downtown Tampa, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.